This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way I can get an alpha to rotate randomly when applied to a mesh? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a polysphere here loaded in. And the question is asking about taking a brush, applying an alpha to that brush, and having that alpha rotate randomly as you sculpt across the model. So is there a way to do this? So the answer to this is yes. So the first thing we need to do with my polysphere here is I just want to divide this up a little bit to get my active point count a little bit higher. So I'm going to go to the tool palette over here and open up the geometry tab. And I'm just going to click the divide button here or press control D on my keyboard. And I just want to divide my model up till I have around 1 million points. So I'm at 1.5 million active points on this mesh here. Now with this model divided up, I now want to go to the brush palette over here, and in the alpha area, I want to click, and then in here, I want to select the alpha 58. So let's say as an example, I have the standard brush here with alpha 58, and if I come across my model and sculpt, I'm getting this effect. So I'm getting the brush applying this alpha, and it's doing it in this straight fashion, so it's following my stroke. So let's say instead of this happening, I want this alpha to be applied randomly. So maybe I want to generate some sort of crazy skin patterns or something. So I want to take that alpha and basically as I draw it out, I want it to randomly rotate that alpha across the surface, giving me a different effect. So to do this, you just need to navigate over to our brush palette. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to click this little button here to dock it to the side. And now with my brush palette, I want to go to the orientation area and open this up. And in here, you have some spin sliders. So the spin slider that I want to change is this spin rate here down at the bottom. And currently, this is set to zero. So with this set to zero, when you use a brush with an alpha applied, it's just going to take that alpha and apply it along the stroke that you just drew out. Well, if I come over here and I adjust the spin rate, so I'm just going to max it out to 10. And now if I come across the surface of my model and sculpt, you'll see that it's going to rotate the alpha randomly as I sculpt on the surface. So now instead of getting that alpha following my stroke, I'm now getting it to randomly apply. So now it's giving me this kind of effect. And if I draw this out while holding down Alt, I'm going to start getting this kind of crazy skin pattern. You can start to see how you can generate some nice monster skin very quick using this process. So the functionality of getting an alpha to rotate is to just go to the brush palette, open up the orientation area, and then change the spin rate slider. Now in addition to this, you can also offset how close the stroke is happening. So you can see here, this is pretty tight. It's a pretty tight pattern of this alpha here. So if I want to add a little more spacing to this, I can go to the stroke palette up here and open this up, and then I can navigate to the lazy mouse area, and in here, I can change the lazy step. So right now, by default, this is set to 0.25. So I can change this to, say, 0.5. Now, if I increase my draw size here and hold down out and draw this across the model, you see I'm going to get a little more separation between those alphas as it draws out. So it's going to give me a little larger pattern of those scales. So now I'm getting something like this across the surface. Now, another fun thing you can also apply to your brushes to increase the random nature of them is in the brush palette, if I navigate down here to the alpha and texture area and open this up, in here you have a magnify option down here. And here you have two values, a low magnify and a high magnify. And this will look at your brush's pen pressure. And if you press hard or soft, it's going to apply this magnify effect to your alpha. So I'm just going to undo this to get back to my original sphere here. If I come to the high magnify area here, I'm going to change this to say 2. And now if I come across a model and click and drag with light pressure, I'm getting the same thing I was seeing. But then if I press harder, I'm now getting these larger gashes. So if I do this with Alt held down, you see I'm getting this. So I can get light areas. And if I press harder on my pen here, you can see I'm getting large gashes. And so you can use this to your effect too to even get more randomness out of your alpha. So that setting lives in the brush palette in the alpha and texture area and it is these magnify options here. There's also a curve that will allow you to control how the magnification happens, so you can adjust the curve, and they will even tailor this magnification even further based on your pen pressure. 
So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.